Let's consider an example of elastic potential energy or spring potential energy. From our integration of the spring force, we were able to show that the work done by a spring is equal to negative one half K times the quantity XB squared minus XA squared as we move our spring from position A to position B. And so our potential energy will be the negative of that or a positive one half K times that quantity. That means we can say that our elastic potential energy at some position is one half kx squared plus some constant. If we consider now a perfectly elastic spring with an unstretched length of 20 centimeters and a spring constant of four newtons per centimeter, we want to know how much elastic potential energy does our spring contribute when its length is 23 centimeters. Well, let's call this my spring constant k. And let's say that my elastic potential energy now is one half kx squared. That means we can plug in one half, my k is four newtons per centimeter. My x is three centimeters. And then that gets squared. And to get this in units of joules, we need to do a unit conversion. Probably the easiest is to do the one meter is 100 centimeters because we have centimeters squared divided by centimeters, so we have one more to get rid of there. And once we do that, we end up with 0 0.18 joules. But wait, you say, how did you get that three centimeters? I see 23. What I did is I considered a spring attached to a wall here. And I said that we have 20 centimeters worth of length in the unstretched case. And then in the stretched case, it's a little bit longer. So we had 23 centimeters worth of length. And I took the difference between these two. And I said 23 minus 20 gives me three centimeters. That means that we're stretched from our equilibrium position of x equals zero at the unstretched length, three centimeters worth. All right. So I chose my equilibrium position as x equals zero and stretched myself three centimeters from there. How much more potential energy does it contribute if its length is increased to 26 centimeters? Let's do another calculation. 1 half kx squared, where now my new x is 6 centimeters. Do the same unit conversion as before. And we get 0.72 joules. That's its potential energy when it's stretched to 6 centimeters. So the amount of additional potential energy it contributes 0 0.72 joules minus the original potential energy it had at the three centimeter stretching of 0.18 joules gives us 0 0.54 joules worth of additional potential energy. So how much more potential energy? 0.54 joules more potential energy. I want to emphasize for springs, we generally want to set the x equals zero at that equilibrium position.